welcome to the bonus section of the course um, you know learning about html anchor tag usages so in this video we are going to cover about how to style anchor tags right so to do that let us first create anchor tag now we know that to create an anchor tag we have to use the a tag and then we have to give one attribute called href to link a page let's do let's link one example.com and then give a target attribute so that we open this page in a new tab and then give a you know also give uh, the text like you know say my anchor like that okay so now if we see in the page we should uh, see this anchor tag has come up all right we see this anchor tag now if i mouse over on this anchor tab uh, there is not much style changes and all. So what we'll be doing is like we'll be taking care of those stylings part right away. So let's do that. So anchor tag has four states. One state is called link. The next one is called over. Then we have a state called active and the last one is called visited. What exactly is these states? Huh? The link is the default state basically. It's a, just an anchor that rendered on a page. That's how the link state is. Hover is a state when you mouse over on an anchor tag, like that's a, that's when the hover state gets activated. The active state, when it is getting activated, is like the moment you click on an anchor. Only that very moment, it is called active. The anchor is active. And once you are done with the clicking, then the actor gets into the visited state. So the difference between active and visited is like the moment you click, that particular moment it is active. After you are done with your clicking, it is in a visited state. So these are the four states. Now, based on these four states, uh, CSS provides us an opportunity to create um, C CSS pseudo classes. So, what exactly pseudo classes are? Pseudo classes are basically the selector, basically the tag name, then colon, then the state. This become your pseudo CSS pseudo class selector, pseudo selector. With that, if you do like this, you can write all your styles over here. You know, using these brackets, you can write all your CSS styles over here, so that when a particular situation with the anchor type happen, these styles will be applied. So if I have a colon visited and some styles like color this, background color this, and border this, and things like that, when you click on an anchor tag, then mm -hmm. once the click is done, these styles will be applied on this anchor tag. So let us say this, of course, we won't write it here. We will be writing all this thing into the CSS file. Uh, so I have created those pseudo selectors over here say so a colon link a colon hover a colon active and a colon visited of course all are blank we are going to fill them so a colon link is the default one which is similar to this a there's not much differences that's the uh, you know that's that's all about it so what we're going to do we are probably going to use the same color like by default let's use this as a color without any problem now if you hover on a anchor tag let's change the color let's change the color to um, green yeah that works then when you do active that particular time let's select a color like blue yeah we just click on it and then once the clicking is done uh, let's say pink now uh, if if it is like you know very fast you won't see much differences between an active and visited you probably won't notice the active one but if there is a delay uh, you will be definitely noticing a difference between active and visited one so we'll save this one and we'll directly now go to our uh, page and see how these things are working out so this is what it is so i have this my anchor now if i mouse over on this do you see what happened this is green because i have given the hover state as a green color the moment i click on it if you notice it will open a page like examples.com in the new tab so you might not just notice you know very clearly but try to notice it will turn to blue and then it will go to the pink blue now if i come over here uh, you know, um, so this one is visited. See, you saw that blue, right? It's coming over here and now it's visited. You see, this is in a pink color. So visited is in a pink color. So once the click happened, this particular page gets loaded, your examples.com get loaded. And then, uh, you know, you have this link visited and it turns the color to pink. So that's pretty much it about, you know, styling. Now, best part is what you know, you can always come here and add any styles over here right you know of your choice for example you have added this hover right um, you can add uh, possibly uh, 
you know background color over here or you have added up you know some kind of um, you know font say font size you can add say 30 pixel over here so whenever you actually mouse you know mouse over on this one uh, what will happen is like you know you uh, definitely get this one uh, you know activated quite easily so uh, that's all so we'll see this font size on on quickly okay it's not come up so see the font size on on quickly like on over how it happens Ooh, see this this tiny effect yeah so that's all about uh, styling uh, the anchor tags uh, you know i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if that is the case um, you know um, i would like to request you to please subscribe um, to the channel so that you get to know about much more future stuff you know much more things that i'm going to share and create videos you know and uh, share with you thank you very much please take a great care of yourself thanks a lot